hello guys and welcome back so in this video we will be showing the username on top of the player heads whenever we play the game okay and also we will give an option to the player to change his or her username okay and if the player don't want to change the username then in that case we will be giving the default username for now if you open up the launcher script right here we are already giving player a, a random username okay of this combination so now we are giving the player a username we want to show this username first of all okay and then after that on our uh, menu scene we will be creating another menu for uh, the username in order to make the player enter their own username okay so first of all let's click on scene change to game scene okay let me double click on there and then from the resources photon prefab drag and drop the player in there okay let's double click on the player body so here is the player now what we're gonna do is inside the player create a ui canvas let's name this as uh, username and team because we will be showing the username and team number on top of the player head okay let's make this canvas as world space then after this make the width of it as 1200 and the height as 400 and again make the scale of it as 001001.001 okay make sure that you do this and then after this in here create a ui legacy text okay stretch it on the whole canvas and let's name this as username okay now let's resize it to this point right here we will be showing the username and right here we will be showing the team number if you want you can uh, make this ui even more better on your own but if you want to follow me then follow me okay so type player username and some random values for now make the font size 80 uh, let me actually rotate it on 180 so that we can see it on this side okay so like this we will be uh, showing the player username as you can see okay let's make it bold and let's make the color white okay so as you can see it is looking good move it to the center and then to the bottom okay so it look it looks good now once you have this okay then i want you to go ahead and create two scripts okay so let me create a ui folder ui scripts in here let's create a c-sharp script by the name of username billboard and the next script should be by the name of username display let's now click on username and team and this uh, attach this display and this billboard script to it okay then let's open these two okay so now on the username billboard what we want to do we want this uh, username billboard to follow the camera so uh, if the camera is uh, looking from a different angle then we want the username to rotate towards that uh, angle okay so for that we need a reference to our camera 
then we're gonna add the update method in which we're gonna say if the camera is equals to null okay let's actually name this as main camera okay so if the main camera is null then the main camera will be equals to find object of type camera okay and we're gonna attach to attach the camera to it and the reason we are doing this in the update because as you know that when the player dies okay then as you know the player respawns so when the player dies uh, and if we do this line in the start uh, method then it will be attached only at the start but then if the player dies the reference will be gone and it will show an error okay so that's why we do it in the update method so whenever the player dies and respawn then that new camera will be attached to this okay then after this we are gonna say that if the main camera is null okay then we are gonna just simply return from here okay and now let's uh, make the uh, username billboard look at the camera so for that we are gonna say transform dot look at and we want it to look at the main camera dot transform okay and also as you know that we make this username rotate on 180 so make this zero and we will be rotating this using the script okay so we're gonna say transform dot rotate vector 3 dot up multiply that by 180 simple as that okay so this is gonna now rotate our camera after this now on our username display now we want to display the username okay whatever the username uh, we give in our launcher script so first of all we need a reference to our text field okay so we gonna say public text text okay or username text and since we are dealing with ui at the top make sure that you type using unity engine dot ui okay and after this make sure that you type using photon dot one now let's say public photon view let's name it view then in the start method what we are gonna do we are gonna first of all attach the put on view component so we're gonna say if view actually we're not gonna attach it we're gonna check if uh, the view is ours okay so if the view is ours then what we want to do we don't want to display the username okay because uh, to our own player we don't want to show the username we only want to show the username on top of the other player heads i mean their own username on their head okay and if you want to show your own player username to your own player then you can skip this step okay so we're gonna say game object dot set active so what this means as you know that this username display is attached to the username and team okay 
so what this gonna do this gonna check if the view is ours it means that if it is our own player then it gonna uh, set active it to false so it will not show the username after this we gonna say uh, username text dot text equals to view dot owner dot nickname so this gonna pass the uh, username or you can say the nickname of the player to this uh, text field okay and then after this we gonna show the team number but that is for the upcoming video and also guys right here we can name the script as username and let's just type team username team display okay and you can also copy this get back right here select the script and paste its name okay so now as you can see here is the script the new script okay we have the billboard and the username team displayed uh, script as well now let's attach uh, these things so let's attach the text and then the photon view component of the player and then click on the player click on override click apply all to save it in the prefab as well and then we can simply delete the player from there so if we create a room okay this is our username on this computer let's find the room and this is the username on this build okay so let's start the game okay so now as you can see we can't see our own username but we can see the username of that player Okay. and if we change it to this view we can see the username of that player as well it is 8791 and right here it is at 725 now we are displaying the username now in the next video what we're gonna do we will show the I mean we will give an option to the player to enter his or her own username 